If we switch to probes, we will not get anything in the multimeter, as you can see. Okay, means the diode is good. Hi, in this video, we're gonna see how to test the diodes in the laptop motherboard. So, as you can see, we have here many diodes. This is different diodes, as you can see. So, we're gonna see how to, to test this kind of diodes, okay? So let's use the multimeter to test this diodes. So first of all, we should put the multimeter to the buzzer option, as you can see, or the continuity option, okay? And then, as you know, the diode contains two terminals, okay? A negative terminal and a positive terminal. So as you can see here, this is the diode. Here we have positive, as you can see. And the other side is negative. So we should put the red probe here in the positive terminal and the black probe in the negative terminal. And we should have a reading in the multimeter. As you can see, we have here a reading in the multimeter, about 700. If we switch the probes, we should not get any reading in the multimeter. As you can see, we get no reading. Okay, means the diode is good. Okay, the diode is serviceable. Let's check now this kind of diodes. Okay, let's check it again. We have here the plus, as you can see, and here the minus. This line, black line, means minus. So let's check. As you can see, we get the reading about 600. Means the diode is good. If we switch the probe, no reading. As you can see. We get one in the multimeter, means this diode also is good. Here, as you can see, we have a diode with three terminals, as you can see. So this diode basically contains two diodes inside it. As you can see, this is the first one, and this is the second one, as you can see. Okay? So basically, this is like a transistor, but... In terms of measurement, it's not like a transistor. So if we switch the probes, we will get nothing. If we check the transistor, always here we have gauge, source, and drain. So this transistor, as you can see, we have base, collector, and emitter. So here, as you can see, we get a reading between the collector and the emitter. But here, we didn't get any reading, okay? So it contains just one diode, as you can see. This is transistor, okay, as you can see. But for the diode, we get two readings, as you can see. So let's switch the probes. As you can see, we get, as you can see, two readings. Means if you have a bad transistor, you should not replace it with a double diode. You should pay attention. Now, I'm going to teach you the diode symbols, okay, the different diode symbols, as you can see. So this is a diode, basically this is a normal diode, with plus and minus, as you can see, okay, or anode and cathode. And here, as you can see, we have, this is the Zener diode, as you can see, this is the symbol of Zener diode. So we use the Zener diode to stabilize the current, okay? So with the same working principle, plus and minus, or anode and cathode, okay? So here I'm going to draw for you the transistor with double diode, okay? Double diode, as you can see. So as you can see, the, the anodes are connected together, okay? As you can see, here, we have double diode. As you can see here in the motherboard, here we have a normal diode. So, and for the Zener diode, okay, Zener diode. So, over here we have the Zener diode D21, as you can see, okay. And for this kind of diode with double diode connected together. As you can see here in the motherboard, the D19, as you can see, and here we have transistor Q20. Okay, I will draw for you now the symbol 
of the transistor in order to distinguish between a normal transistor and a transistor with double diode or a double diode. So as you can see, this is an NPN transistor okay, with base, collector and emitter here. If you test using the multimeter, you will get between collector and emitter a reading about 700 or 600. Okay, if you get a reading between collector and emitter, means the transistor is good. But for this kind of diode, you will get two readings. We have also another type of diode, a bigger one here. This is a protection diode. You will find it near to the power jack here. This white line means cathode and anode okay so let's check this diode using the multimeter the same working principle always the red probe in the positive terminal and the black probe in the negative terminal as you can see we should get a reading in the multimeter as you can see here 600 if we switch to probes we will not get anything in the multimeter, as you can see. Okay, means the diode is good. If the diode is bad, you will get a continuity, okay, uh, or a buzzer. So this is a protection diode. We find it near to the power jack.